Hey guys, welcome back to part 16 of Sly 3. Now we're going to do a Cold Alliance challenges, and then after those, we'll look at the gallery. Uh, this one has nothing. This is one of the weird ones that you got to do. It has it's not anything with the story or missions. It's just a weird thing that they put in. It's annoying as hell. Especially at the end of um, uh, the um, this challenge, you've got to bounce to every checkpoint that appears on the map. Be careful where you bounce because these little curves can really screw you up. I think that's the last waypoint, and it is really hard. It takes ages to get enough height. Uh, my um, uh, what's it called? Places to move has just been um posted. See, got to get enough height. <coughs> oh, see what I mean about these stupid slope things? So close. Keep Murray from taking significant damage. Ugh. This is what I hate more than the actual mission is this challenge. It's a lot harder than the actual mission. And really pisses me off a lot worse. Good, those two guards won't be able to get through the van. Get away, get away, get away, go, go, go. Yes! Done! My first try, that is incredibly rare. I think that might be the first or second time I actually got that on my first try. Defeat Sal without taking significant damage. This one's annoying, but it's easier than the last challenge.
Oh, come on, that is bullshit. family has been beaten by Tao. Our legacy is superior. This one has the worst challenges. The ones in Tao No Tales are really good. So they don't give you the same crap as this one does. been hit once yet. Two more hits and I'm done. Done! Next challenge is just the next part of the sail fight with the exact same challenge. Come back and take it like a man. You've got to beat him without taking significant damage. And that's the last challenge until we beat Tell No Tales. There's only about like four challenges in this mission, so they're, yeah, they really were running out of ideas for this one. I'm dead. Oh, come on, he'd even touch me. That's bullshit. Is unstoppable. Cheating bastard. I think I'm actually going to get it this time. Not doing his other black magic crap. Done. Didn't even use the dragon or the zombie hands yet that time. Yep, finally done. Now we'll look at the gallery. Uh, this is just a random image of China. Sal's stronghold or whatever it is. Exact same. The exact same. Oh, that's yeah. The um, treasure, uh, palace, Tre the treasury. This is a random thing like near the um, where the bell was. That's the stone dragon that we fought. That's. Out of Sal's palace. That's the inside of his palace. Mm, early concept out of his. Oh no, that's his. Pa yeah, his palace. Like another one. Another image like before. Place near the bell. That's the 
um, where the panda kick was meditating. That's... I'm pretty sure that's another uh, early concept of Sal's Palace, which is an area we never got in the game. Yep, early pig with no moustache, wearing a kung fu outfit. Ah, oh, and a removed um, guard, monkey. Oh no, that, oh no, that's the early art of the monkey that we fought, the final guard. Hmm, I don't see much difference between this guard and the last one. There would be some differences because they're all, they're all these early concept art. Yeah, it was originally slow, I was meant to carry around a huge camera. There's Panda King in a different outfit, I think. And that's where he had his um, outfit. Sal. I think he had a different outfit as well. And early concept of the um, praying mantises. Alright, that's it for episode 4. Now, tell no tale, dead men tell no tales. <sighs> that only took 11 minutes, that was short. This is the last main episode. The final episode is the Keeper Vault job. It was like, um, beginning of the end. Oh, I think that's what it was called. Yeah, beginning of the end, which was the little story we had at the start. Where we played a Sly getting to the, um, Keeper Vault. We got the message late one Saturday night. Dimitri was calling in the favor I promised him back in Holland. He gone ahead and booked the whole team passage under assumed identities <laughs> to none other than Blood Bath Bay. Easily the most lawless town on earth. It's home to a group of cultural hermits who doggedly maintain the ways of their pirate forefathers. The cruise over gave us some time to get the rundown from Dimitri. I guess his grandfather, Remy Lestow, was a pioneer in deep sea diving. He'd made a fortune with undersea wrecks. Although his luck ran short when a young cutthroat by the name of Black Spot Pete stole not only his loot, but his precious diving gear as well. A broken man, Remy retired from treasure hunting and eventually started a family. Dimitri, growing up on his grandfather's stories, dreamed of one day recovering the gear. So that was our task. We've been called in to get our hands on this miraculous diving equipment. Not all bad, really. If things go our way, the team might get a frogman out of the deal, which Bentley figures will be a big help cracking the Cooper vault. That Bentley, always thinking. Yep, so you, Dimitri is the last member of the gang to come. So Cooper and the gang in... Dead men tell no tales. Yeah, Dimitri becomes the diver for the gang. Oh, and I'm back. If you, yeah, you see a jump here. Reason is I had to leave to go to the toilet because I was busting doing that cutscene. Yeah, so, uh, now we will do first mission, but first we will um, have a look at what we can get, which we don't th don't think I can get it really anything. I've gotten everything that I need for, um, uh, what's it called? Um, uh, for things for missions. It is real easy to get coins on this mission because you sink pirate ships and you get a shit ton of coins that we can use for Thiefnet. Black Spot Pete has 
retired and is living here in town. I'll mark his place with a waypoint. Yeah, this is when we get the final outfit for the game. Oh, yeah, that's what a silent obliteration does. If you didn't see my second, my walkthrough for Sly 2. So now we don't do the, um, the loud slamming thing anymore. Okay, that was a dog. Which is, yeah, both of these guards are dogs. Oh, every guard is a dog, really. The other one is a Labrador. Um, this one is a Chihuahua, I think. I used to think he was a cat, but he's actually another dog. And I can't... I'm not exactly sure what kind of dog... Um, the flashlight guards are, though. Mm. 100% that the other two are Labrador and a Chihuahua. There he is! Black spot meat! I didn't think pirates the parrot that old. Thought scurvy would get him or something. Don't lower your guard for an instant. All pirates are killers, plain as that, and they don't trust outsiders at all. How's your pirate accent? Arr, I forgot me number two pencil for the Scantron test. Don't call you, <laughs> but that guy won't help us out until you've earned his trust. Black Spot Pete, I've come to talk of treasure, a subject I hear you're familiar with. Treasure! I but I chatter with the likes of you, so blessed a subject. Get out of his sight, landlubber! All my years I only spoke of the gold and kindness with me farmer. Can't tank of a stem. Maybe we can work out a bargain. Shut your mouth, old lover. I'm caught. <laughs> Salt of the earth, that black spot, Pete. It's clear to get anywhere with the old coot. We'll need to fool him into thinking that your taker is Tim. What happened to Tim anyway? His lieutenants mutinied on the old guy and divided the plunder, including his captain's outfit. This is the only real pirate town left. They must be around here somewhere. You're right. That's Stone Jake. Toughest guy you'll ever meet. He took the eye patch. Hmm. Tough enough to take an anchor dropped on his head? Good plan. Jesus. Good job, matey. Stone Jake has a thing about monkeys. If you whack the palm trees, he's sure to come running. Perfect for luring him under the anchor. What? Be that monkeys? Run with your opposable thumbs! Three devils! I find you! That's a judge for I mates! Ha ha! I've got you now! Fly me dogs! Monkeys! Got you, buddy. <laughs> I got the eye patch. That looks nothing like an eye patch. Must be another texture fail that Sanzaru didn't bother fixing. See if any of these two have anything I could loot. This guy does. Oh, come on. He doesn't have anything else. Just like this dude. A medium necklace. Wait. The lieutenants are each of the um, guards that we see roaming around. There's the second lieutenant. You need to steal his peg leg. Peg leg? Seriously? Isn't that kind of... harsh? You'll need it for the costume. It's very unique. Look, what you need to worry about is getting past his bodyguards. I'll have to pick them off one by one. Shouldn't be a problem. That's where silent obliteration is very, very useful. 
take them out without being al without alerting the other guards. That's like three of these. Four, yeah, it's four. Excellent. Peg leg. You just got one loose headed left. Twitching them. I'm afraid word's gotten out that someone is taking down lieutenants, and he's hiding out up in a crow's nest. Oh, that was close. Hey, he's got something too. Or oh, medium diamond, that is awesome. Larger diamond would give me a lot of coins. He's got something too, yay! Oh, a ruby, 132. So you get so much coins on this episode. So another reason why I like this one. This one this one is the best, I reckon. It's another reason why I think that way. Ah! I know it! Tis true! An agent of Pam's come for revenge! Chase him down! He's got Tim's hat! Can't take him out if you whack him. Stay away from those. You somehow drop some, some like universal remote or something. Automatically presses those buttons. Don't worry about fighting guards. Take me. Somehow we died. He's kind of slow. Sound like he shit himself. I kind of failed at that end part there. Once I was annoyed. You've got me with me back to the sea. I yield. I just wanted your hat. Me hat? That's what this be about. Take the moldy cotton cloth and away with you. <laughs> I've got the pirate hat. I'm supposed to carry a sword, but he's not even holding anything. He's running like he does have one. Oh, this is... Now we have a pirate game. Oh my god, I hate that. Um little pirate game it was really hard my first couple of tries when I was younger trying to um, do it you got to remember what um, you and Pete have said but you can't say it again to be rude, but let's talk of treasure. Arr. How about a round of vinegar talk first, you baboon face toilet? I've read about this slide. It's customary for pirates to engage in insult competitions. Just make sure you never repeat anything that's already been said. You take the first broadside, shipmate. Uh, brainless... Seaweed slurping, 
sack of maggots. You're a brainless seaweed slurping sack of maggots. Ha ha ha! But methinks you're a idiotic, knuckle dragging waste of skin. Uh. Maroons. Toothless. Squabba! Oh, really? You're a marooned, toothless swabba. That'd be true enough, but you. Oh, I thought I did it wrong. Puss face piece of filth. There's some new ones. Uh, sheep brained. Uh, scurvy ridden. Bag of vomit. Yeah, you're a bladdering, scurvy ridden bag of vomit. Ha! You swear like a child. You're a sheep brained, barnacle backed cabin boy. Uh, mumbling. Grog abusing <laughs> whale fart. Mumbling, grog abusing whale fart. <laughs> but methinks you're a pin headed duck build anchor head. Great. Uh, mumbling. Oh, I think I got it wrong. You are. Mumbling, yellow bellied cow pie. Tis already been said. No yep. Pirate work is soft with reuse and insult. It's a crime before nature. Neither got that wrong. That was the last one, too. You take the first broadside shipmate. A uh, parrot loving, cross eyed. Piece of filth. You're a parrot loving cross eyed piece of filth. That be true enough, but you're a stupid clam tongued cow pie. Uh. Cricket. Did I do parrot loving and cricket sized? Fuck! Phraseology, or your taste may cut the Sorry, I did not mean to do that. I didn't mean to swear. I'll just keep drawing a blank on these. Usually pretty good with remembering this stuff. You take the first broadside shipmate. Stupid grog abusing whale fart. You're a stupid grog abusing whale fart. Ha! You swear like a child. You're a donkey in scurvy-ridden cabin boy! Uh, Pig-breathed, cross-eyed, swabber! You're a pig-breathed, cross-eyed, swabber! <laughs> but methinks you're a brainless, puss-faced bag of vomit! Uh, shit-brained... Seaweed slurping sack of maggots. Really? You're a sheep brained seaweed slurping sack of maggots. That'd be true enough, but you're a cricket sized toothless waste of skin. Parrot loving, uh, clam tongued anchor head. You are. Parrot loving clam tongue anger head. Ma, you swear like a child. Damn it, I thought that was la the eight last one. Billing, cow pie. Uh mumbling Barnacle backed Piece of filth. You're a mumbling barnacle backed piece of filth. Ha ha! Funny! Forgive this old sea dog and his sunburnt eyes for not recognizing you straight away. I've never met a man on land or sea that would curse half as well. Tell me, shipmate, why after so long away did you drop anchor now? I've come for me share of the treasure we stole years back from that Ramey Lousteau fella. 
was a good haul. Speak of it while drunk. <laughs> you and I burying the loot in the belly of Dagger <laughs> And many a year I kept the map to the treasure hidden, safe as a swaddling babe. Arr, then let's have it. High time we dug up our retirement and lived as lords. <laughs> it shames me fierce to tell you, shipmate, but I lost my galleon in a game of cards. And worse yet, the map was stolen by that terror, Captain Lefui. What? <clears throat> what? I'd have run him through with my cutlass before giving up so treasured a parchment. This Lefui's no ordinary buccaneer. No. He's earned the reputation as the smartest man of the Seven Seas. The devil lives in yonder cave. Tis there you find the map. Death as well. If you go for the treasure shipmate, you go alone. Missy Farron days a long behind me. Thank you, Pete. You've been a good friend. Aye, and you're still a skinny, malodorous, hairy palmed bottom feeder. This is done. Now, after this, I'll have to end the part. Thanks to Black Spot Pete, we've got a lead on Rugged Lou Stowe's treasure. It's buried somewhere on Dagger Island, a landmass many leagues from our current position. To make the voyage, we'll need to steal a pirate ship from the harbor. No easy feat given the cutthroat nature of the cutthroats. First, Murray and Sly will steal a jolly boat and blast the rudders off any ships that could chase us out into the open ocean. The action is sure to provoke the harbor patrol, so be prepared for a sea battle. With them out of the way, no one can stop us from leaving harbor. Meanwhile, Penelope and I will work together to break into Lafuie's keep and steal the map to the buried treasure. Once both objectives are reached, we'll steal a ship and set sail for Dagger Island. Then it'll be a simple matter of following the map and digging up the loot. See what coins I have. Eight hundred. No, wait. Now in the next part, we'll do some jobs. So I'll see you guys later.